Hello, welcome to uh, Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. Well, it's a rainy, rainy day here in Athens today, and um, I've been real busy today being in nursing homes and local hospitals, seeing a lot of different people. And I was thinking today as I was driving around town, the, the scripture verse that comes to mind is in Psalm 90, verse 12, where the Bible tells us to number our days. And that reminds me that each of us, every day is a gift of God. So today's the only day I have, and I have no assurance of tomorrow. So today I want to live my life to the fullest. I want to give my very best. I want to put my best foot forward. I want to make a difference with my life. And if I'll do that today and then tomorrow and the day after, it may not seem like I'm getting a lot accomplished sometimes, but over the course of time, it's going to make a difference. And if you're going to make a difference with your life and you're going to be able to see things happen, then you're going to have to set some priorities in your life. Jesus one time said, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto you. All these other things most of the time aren't necessarily bad things. There's certainly nothing wrong with when to maybe go watch a sporting event or spend some time with your spouse or enjoy your kids or grandkids or whatever you got. But the thing is, is at the end of the day, when it's all been said and done, what have you done for the kingdom of God that's going to make a difference? I mean, the reality is, is uh, 30 seconds into heaven, will it matter if you had the best bowling average score in the league or you had the prettiest grass on the block? I mean, there's nothing wrong with any of that. Don't get me wrong. It's just I want to challenge you today to, to when you spend some time with the Lord, maybe today before you turn in to bed for the night, stop and think and ask God. Say, you know, Lord, what can I be doing each day of my life that's going to stand the test of time, that's going to be invested into eternity. And, and you may have to just fine-tune a few things, tweak a few things. You might just have to do a little less of some of the other things so you can have time to do things that are going to matter in eternity. How you lived your life, were you able to help point others to Christ, were you able to uh, invest in uh, raising godly kids and, and so forth and so on. Well, look, there's a lot I could say, so I'm going to hit the pause button for there there for today. So until we get together next time, may God bless you and hey, have a great day.